<laughs> so why it's not late. The internet is doing weird stuff again. Uh, in this case, yes and no both. Yes and no both. So like, what's up everybody? Um, the internet was being weird. Yeah, internet was partially being weird, but at the same time, I was doing some more editing because like we're gonna actually cover everything in this stream because I don't know this stream is gonna be public. I usually unlist my inside streams where I just like stream inside right and I was gonna go to that one dangerous mountain and stream but today is freaking windy and r it's it's so windy outside and it's freaky raining and yeah so this is exactly what I'm talking what I'm gonna talk about Johnny Somali has nothing to do with this freaking whole thing and I'm going to make fun of like you guys for just even saying Johnny Somali is to blame for it too because you were on the internet to just like freaking get mad at something it's not like what you're supposed to do but I'm kind of here to just make fun of the whole thing and then just debunk everything Johnny Somali has nothing to do with it it's not like Americans it's not Chinese people it's not whatever that's not the problem what you are trying to do right now is you're trying to blame it on others and go like, Bro! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I'm angry, yo! No, 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 no. That's, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not what you should, what you should do. But yeah, by the way, everybody, so, did you, did you guys see the, uh, this video that I uploaded yesterday? How Japan has a beef with foreign tours now? Check out how they about that. And Tom Bowser's thank you. Yarn Hub keeps using your voiceovers. You're famous. He's been asking me to, yeah, uh, like voice his stuff. Have you guys seen this video? Yes, one. Tell me. How Japan has a beef with foreign tourists now. There are a lot of people who haven't seen it yet, huh? I thought everybody saw it. But don't fucking act like people like him are in the problem. Yeah, right. If you say that right. So, uh, there are a lot of uh, people. I thought you guys freaking saw it already. But interesting. Watched it the other day. Okay. Sora's feelings are hurt. Yeah, I'm. My, my feelings are freaking hurt. So you know what? I'm gonna freaking post a lot of things on Twitter saying like, <laughs> like, my gosh, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. So um. All right. I'm going to just explain the whole situation like really quick i'm gonna just do the uh, tldr of this whole thing okay so there's this one place called kyoto right and by the way by the way by the way by the way, by the way can i just show you guys something it has nothing it has i mean it doesn't it has nothing to do with the the stream exactly but can i show you something here but let me let me show you something. And let me want to ask you something. Meta she the technique, thank you. Fellow weeb here. How's the day going for you, Sora? I'm doing great. Also, how have have you been to Sendai now? Japan before lovely place, literally where Hiroshiko Araki is from. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much for like <laughs> Thank you so much for whatever that was. <laughs> No, this is just an advertisement. So let me just show you one part. So here, let me show you this one part. Ready? Uh, James Oldiges, old, 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 oldiges. Just got to Akihabara. Is is this place just gambling and tedious? No, no, I don't think you can gamble in Akihabara. Wait, I don't think you're in Akihabara. Akihabara is freaking the place for like anime and stuff. I don't, I don't think you're in Akihabara. You're in freaking like. Like Shinjuku or something? Wait, what? Akihabara is freaking... You don't really see titties. No, you, you're not in Akihabara. That's freaking Shinjuku, yo. Well, thank you. And Sim Simon Helena, can you do a kawaii anime girl voice impression? Uh, I, l let me let me just avoid those like things here in the stream. I just wanted to just talk about like everything here. I'm going to make it public so everybody can see it too. So I did this one thing. I, I will just not mention like all the anime, whatever things here. I just kind of wanted to... Like, let everybody know what's really happening and whatever, right? Okay. I just have to... Bro! So, did you see th this part? I wanted to explain something here. And I wanted to know something here, okay? Oh, this restaurant, it's so anime! Uh, wait. I just have to point out things, right? Korei! Korei! Are you a weeb or something? What? 
So the, the thing about it is here, I thought it was like a freaking most obvious, like a comedy skit, but like some people got mad about this thing saying like, why, why Japanese people are racist? Like, like you get mad if we can not even say anything. Wait, was it not obvious? Wait, was it obvious? Was this obvious? Was this obvious that it was a comedy skit for this exact part? I'm kind of I'm kind of confused about this. I want to know about that part before anything. But let, let me ask you guys here. Okay, so ninety-two percent of you guys are saying like that was obvious, right? So I was, I got confused because like some people freaking got mad. Like <laughs> did you did you see this? I I don't know like if I can read it myself. So let's just Google. Let's just use Google Translate and uh, let's just do this. Ready? Um. While I agree with most of the things in this video, I don't understand why you think it's rude for people who don't speak your language to simply point to something in the uh, Again, I, I thought it was like the most obvious skit, but yeah, uh, but I wanted to make sure. Anyways, let, let me go back to what I was talking about. So like, let me actually start talking about all the things like that's happening right now. I got everything. I got everything. I didn't read all the articles written in English. I wrote all the articles like written in Japanese and then I actually was able to like get some info from the people who actually live there too. The perk of freaking being a YouTuber too, bro. So you will know everything. And by the way, this freaking whole thing is not that insane. Like, dude, like this whole thing is not that insane. Like I I actually figured out what everything was happening. This whole thing is like whatever. Like you, you shouldn't be worried about going to Kyoto or anything. It's basically nothing. But let me, let me uh, show you everything. You will know everything in this stream. So how we are going to start with this presentation first is here. So what happened? I'll first explain what exactly happened and what people in Kyoto are saying about the problem. So I talked about this too, but there's like this one problem called a uh, Michael paparazzi uh, going on. But do you guys know who Michael Michaels are? Do you know who Michaels are? Here. I, I actually uh, did some research about this like too, so. So, I'm not doing one of those like, oh, I don't know, but let me talk about these things. I actually made sure I know what I'm talking about here. Like, that's kind of like what I have to do here too. Like, I, I thought, I felt like I was supposed to like, just actually make sure I know everything here too, so. So, uh, no 61 person, uh, yes 41 person. So let me explain. So, Michaels are basically like, uh, here. Michael's basically like a traditional uh, thing we have in Japan where like girls, like they are actually like little girls, like freaking 15 to like 20 apparently, Tw actually younger than 20, like that was the definition. Michael's are like, yeah, geisha in training. So basically, Michael's are like rock band wannabes, to put it like in English, like, so let's say Metallica, Gl Green Day, whatever, those people are geishas, right? Those people are called geishas, like rock band artists. And Michaels are like amateur rock band guitarist wannabes. Does that make any sense? So, Michaels, it's not, it's not exactly how it is, but I'm just trying to freaking make it so easy to understand, right? It's like, Michaels are trying to be rock stars, and they're training, and they're like, usually little girls, usually, usually. So the people have to watch and watch the rock, but basically, basically, yeah, basically. So, now you get it, right? Michaels are little girls, and they are training to be geishas in the future, because that's the culture there. That's like their tradition, right? And uh, the problem that's happening right now is the main reason why people they are freaking out is because so people are just going after Michaels and Michaels are freaking like girls, like little girls, right? Like 15 year olds to like sometimes like 13 I heard, right? What's a geisha? Geisha? Okay, so let me explain here. 
the easiest way to put it, geishas are rock stars, right? Right? Geishas are rock stars, and Michaels are rock star wannabes. You get it? You get it? Geishas are rock stars. They are like freaking Green Day, Metallica, they're like, you know, U2. And Michaels are rock star wannabes. It's not like wannabes. It's like they are trying to be like rock stars in the future. Like celebrities. No. Like, again, they are trying to be rock stars, not celebrities. Like, once you become a geisha, you are a rock star. Yeah, like, that's how it is. Like, M Michaels are like geishas in training. Like, they're trying to be geishas in the future and they're like young too. So basically, Ko is a kid, a girl in this case, not, not actually, in this case, in this case, it doesn't mean anything, it just means like a, it's something different, but I'm not really sure about this. So, SoundCloud artists, basically, yeah, so Michaels are like SoundCloud artists, basically, if that makes any sense, but they are not like professional artists as of now, but they will be, if that makes any sense, do you guys get it now? And then, so, the problem that's happening right now, and locals are against this whole thing right now, because like, so, Michaels are like little girls, like, that are trying to be like rock stars, right, basically. Michaels are like K-pop trainees, basically, yeah, basically, 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 yeah. They are trying to be like K-pop stars and thus they are training, is what it is like. And in Kyoto, they protect tradition and their culture, so they still do it, but I don't think they make a lot of money for doing Michael and Geisha stuff. But yeah, so that's basically it. And what I wanted to say here is uh, Michaels are little girls, they still like go to school and they still like have life and they still have their privacy. But uh, I wasn't gonna actually show you this clip, but this clip might make sense where people actually kind of just follow Michaels and like taking pictures and going like, Hey Michael, let me, let me show you what's actually happening, right? So it's been like, like this for 10 years now. And again, uh, if this looks fine to you, then like, let me actually make sure again. Michaels are like little girls, like, you know, uh, training to be geishas. And like, it's not like they are like out there to like entertain people or nothing. Like they are basically on the way to go to like a different place. And there are signs everywhere saying like, don't do anything to Michaels. But it's been like this for 10 years, for 10 years. That, that makes sense, right? Right. That makes sense. Basically, it's like tourists are going after little girls, taking pictures of them and going like, who is the story? Does that make any sense? And I have to make sure about this too. We, I don't really think it's important to mention who they are or anything. Like, so many people out there are saying, like, <laughs> they are Americans, they are Chinese. We, we shouldn't even focus on these things, right? Like, it's just whatever. So, yeah, uh, this is like another thing too. Like, their kimonos, like, got freaking, you know, torn apart. And like some people like threw threw cigarettes at them and stuff too. And this is like the actual pictures and stuff. But that's whatever. That's predatory, isn't it? I mean the thing about it is that in this case a bit it's a bit different because like they are in Japan, they're like, oh Michaels, let me take a picture. Right? So like for tourists, it's more like, oh my gosh, she's a real life Japanese character, let's go. But what's actually happening from their perspective is like again, they are just little girls like trying to be, you know, rock stars in the future and they're just like doing their thing, but they get stalked and they just do this. And they experience this, right? That's the whole story. Now everybody might get what it's like. And there's like another clip here. Michael Paparazzi And those are like, you know, 16 year old girls, like 15. They are younger than 20, basically. Like, just. So. To put it simply, like, I feel like, do they make money? I don't think they do. Michaels don't make money. I don't, I don't think so. I could be wrong about this. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't say anything. So let's just, let me just say it this way. Let me just say it this way. It has been a problem just because, like, uh, you know, uh, all the people who kind of, like, follow Michaels that are little girls and then, like, following them and, like, <laughs> picture, bro, swag. And that's kind of not paid. Again, Michaels are training. Like, Michaels are freaking girls, like, in training to be geishas. Again, like, so, let me explain again. Michaels are K-pop trainees, and geishas are K-pop stars. They are trying to, like, be geishas in the future, so they are training. That's basically what that is. So, yeah, um... So, obviously, you can tell, like, how Michaels don't really like it, right? 
like if you just pay attention to like how fast she starts freaking walking and stuff uh i actually want to know why are they dressed like that if not for attention or is it just a culture thing uh basically we have like this one culture called geisha and let me explain so there's geisha and michael let me just use different words here they are trying to be rock stars and they are like training to be rock stars right so they're these michaels are like rock star wannabes they went to like a music studio and then they trained and they are like on their way to get home from like their training that's not making any sense and the problem here is like apparently they actually follow like those michaels to their houses too and then go like michaels bro swag yo and that's basically the whole thing if that makes sense any sense and um yeah so now you get it right and oh yeah yeah uh, this too so the difference between like k-pop idols and like uh, these michaels and these geishas is like you cannot become geishas if you are younger than like 20 you have to be an adult to be a geisha and it's not like they do anything like you know shady or nothing is really the rock star analogy a good analogy i don't know man like that's like the best example i can freaking come up with right now that would be terrifying you could get injured doing that in the US. so th that's kind of why it's a thing now too right and uh but at the same time i wanted to make sure i wanted to make sure like it, a lot of tourists are freaking chill too and this is like the actual proof of like how chill things are there and this place is called hanami koji right hanami koji it's like one street in gyon you can kind of see how it is really like and most of the time people are chill and this is like the proof of like how it really is ready so this is michael and i don't know if this person had their permission or not but yeah so mostly tourists are really chill like this like they know what not to do they're not even like freaking filming the michaels are going like yo bro swag yo so most of the time they are chill right and nothing is really happening like no stalking going on they can just do whatever so it's really it's really chill so 80 90 percent of the time like the problems are not really that huge right but there's been cases where like this happens and like that happens where they get stalked see like people kind of like try to still You know, not really deal with like Michaels. Is Geisha like a hostess? Not really. They are, they do like a traditional like Japanese like dancing stuff. I don't know like if if it's considered like a dance or not. It's the ten percent fault. I'm not gonna say like whose fault it is or not because like blaming something on people right now is not gonna really solve anything, right? Like we. We shouldn't really say like, oh, it's this person's fault. Like, this guy sucks. Like, that's not gonna bring us anywhere. Like, so that happened. And now what do are we supposed to do to fix it? Now what are we supposed to do to not make it happen? Like, it's kind of like we are here to learn things. It's not like, this guy sucks. Fuck him. Like, we are not here to do that, right? And then, uh, the next topic is basically here. Let me explain which road is specifically banned from tourists because a lot of people are saying like oh my gosh i cannot go to kyoto anymore <laughs> fuck johnny somali and i'm like wait johnny somali has nothing to do with it like seriously what so she's more white than you <laughs> I, I i'm pretty sure like there were some like people trolling in the comment section in this video too but like some people were calling michael's like racist because like this freaking facial makeup too <laughs> And I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure they're 100% like freaking trolling. Like, there are so many trolls. But yeah, anyways, to, I feel like generalized other people won't help. Yeah, so like, think about it like here. Think about it like here. So, you know how I'm showing like the exact proof of like how a lot of people, a lot of like tourists are really chill, right? So, in reality, in reality, let me tell you, locals there know there are good uh, tourists as well. Locals, I, I, I talked to some of them about this actually. They know a lot of them are chill and they actually freaking follow rules and stuff. But at the same time, like, there are some people who just, you know, like, follow Michaels and go like, swag, yo, bro. And that's basically, you know, the thing, like, for 10 years now, right? 
anyone will be scared if j- someone jumps in front of you to take photos and following you. Yeah, so it, it, that's the thing here too. Anyone will be scared, and those are little girls. Like, they're freaking like 16, 17, usually. I did some like uh, research about it too. Mostly they are like eight, 17? Mostly they are 17. Like, on average. But they are 100% younger younger than, like, 20. Like, they're freaking little girls. Like, they are high schoolers, usually. Like, they go to high school, and then they still, like, do the, like, geisha training, I think? I'm not really sure. But, yeah, the point is here. The locals there know uh, tourists are chill. And they don't really mind a tourist, like, that much, because tourists are, like, this chill. But at the same time, like, the stalking problems, like, happens, like, here and then. And then, boom, the whole thing's, like... The whole thing is now happening, right? And uh, so, let me explain which area exactly is going to be banned from tourists and... Let me tell you, it's not seriously a huge issue. Like, I actually did freaking... I did the research in depth, like, a lot more, so I know which exactly is banned. Dude, it's not something you should be freaking, like, worried about. Don't worry about it. Ready? Here. So this is called Gion, right? This is called Gion. This part, like, around here. Especially, like, the, uh... You know how there's, like, a, this yellow color, the map? That's Gion, right? That's Gion. Like, this whole place is called Gion. So let's say this is, like, New York, right? Let's just put it like this. Like, it's New York, right? Yeah, it's New York, right? It's New York, and then there's this one place called New York South Town. Does that make any sense? Like, South Gion Town. That's basically what that is. New York South Gion Town. Does that make any sense? Right. And then, uh, there's this one place called Hanami Koji. That's not the picture. Fuck! Oh, it's the picture. Fuck. I'm sorry. It's this picture. I le- <laughs> let me just let me just talk about it one more time. Okay. So uh This is Gion. It's freaking so small. Like that one street is like so small. Like nobody should be freaking like freaking out about like Oh my gosh! I cannot go there anymore! <laughs> That's a beautiful place! <laughs> it's not like that don't worry about it so this is Gion right this is basically New York town and this is South New York basically like South Gion town does that make any sense and then there's this one place called Hanami Koji that one street that one street you get it Hanami Koji that's a famous like a uh, sightseeing like public road Nobody owns that road. It's a public road. It's freaking owned by the government, I guess. So, like, nobody can do anything about that part, right? And then, uh, there's Hanami Koji. And thank you, Dante Reish. Honestly, I just want the kimono the one dude had. It was all blue and had waves on it. You can just get kimonos and you can freak- OH! You mean this? That is actually kind of fire. I was not even freaking paying attention to it. But yeah, so... Uh, Hanami Koji, right? There's this one street. This is a public road. This is a public road, road, right? And then there's this one freaking private property. Here. Here. It's freaking this small, actually. It's this small. It's this small. Like, literally. Like, look at that. It's literally that freaking one narrow street because people live there. That's where people live. Like, that's called Kosode Koji. Kosode Koji, right? That's literally it. Right, let me make sure again, so people know like where that road freaking is. I'm gonna actually make sure, because a lot of people freaking think like Kyoto now banned tourists. No, that's not how it is. This is Gion. This is New York City, right? And then there's this one place called South Gion Town, South New York. Does that make any sense? And then there's again this one freaking street called Hanami Koji. That's a no. That's a this. That's a public road. It's a freaking small, like, street, too. That That's a public road. And then, there's this one place, which is a private property called Kosode Koji. That's this small, dude. Dude, it's this small. You see it now? And this road is banned because, because, this is what the place looks like. It's freaking where people live. 
<laughs> this is a residential area where, like, it's not really a freaking, like, place for sightseeing purposes, like, at all. It's basically where people live. And then, wh this is where Michaels live as well, apparently. Uh, so, the problem here is Michaels do live there, and Michaels, like, go to, uh, those, like, places to, like, train to be geishas and whatever. But the problem is... The tourists apparently stalk Michaels and then they even like try to get in their houses and they freaking use the bathroom bathroom inside of the house like randomly too. That freaked out the you know people who live there basically. And thank you Burn Castle. I was thinking they are banning people so tourists n not learn how to make wrestling. Yes, thank you so much for the donation. Seriously, yeah. So <laughs> that that's the problem. You get it now, right? You get it now, right? So basically like Gion is a huge town in Kyoto and yeah this place is like great place for like tourists as well like there are so many things for like freaking tourists either way right but then there's this one town called South Gion town which isn't really for like sightseeing purposes but people in South Gion town are like oh you know what I mean this is where we kind of live but if you want to come here then just why don't you come here like they're kind of fine with it and then there's uh, this one place called Hanami, uh, Hanami Koji, this, right? And this is, like, in South Gion Town, too. And people, like, the locals that live there are like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I guess. I mean, this is, like, a public road. We are not going to say anything about it. I know, like, people freaking stalk, like, Michaels and whatever. But, you know, we cannot do anything about it. So they've been kind of, like, burying with it, too, honestly. They don't... They, they kind of mind it, but they're like, yeah, whatever. And then there's this one place called Hanami Koji, right? I mean, Kosode Koji. This is where people live. This is where people actually freaking live. This is what it looks like, right? So this is where people live. But so basically the tourists kind of think that the whole place is like for tourism. And Michaels kind of live there as well because like there are houses, right? And then tourists follow Michaels and then they even get in the house and they even freaking use the bathroom and like leave trash and whatever and the the people that live there just went like dude this is where we live what the fuck <laughs> but I kind of get it from like a tourist like perspective as well because like if this is like a tourist place and if there's like one you know road like this yeah they might think it's also for like a touristy purposes as well you know what I mean so basically what they are doing is like not really like being a being a tourist and like freaking just being party people or anything. What's happening really here is trespassing, yeah. Trespassing, yeah. That's exactly what's happening. But you know, Japanese people are being Japanese people, they don't really freaking like report them to the police or anything because like that's kind of like what Japanese people do. Even though there are so many signs that say something like, Don't take pictures, we'll find you ten thousand yen. They actually don't do it, right? So yeah, uh, now, then, so like it just kept happening and happening again and again, and people like, Pfft. so that's basically uh, what's happening. Why it's seeking disabled on this live stream? I I disabled it in every live live stream because some people uh, watch my streams and they forget that they are freaking three minutes behind. Like that that's be happening, and like it freaking lags a lot more. So. These are definitely not weeps doing this. I, I don't really know who they are, but like what I what I wanted to say is here. Um I don't really know if this is xenophobic or like racist. <laughs> I don't really know. But let me can I just like read the comments and like tell you guys like what actually everybody is like thinking about this and let me just debunk the whole situation. So I actually debunked the whole situation. How are they gonna enforce the ban? So it's it's the Japanese people thing. So they are basically going to put a sign on the street, like here, right? It's not like they're trying to freaking enforce the ban or anything. Japanese people don't really do that, as far as I know. They're going to freaking put a sign in front of, like, the street saying, like, this is a private property. Don't come here. If you come here, you'll be fined 10,000 yen. So people exactly know, like, what they're not supposed to do this time. Like, they were sort of, like, fine with, like, tourists to come in then because, like, they were like, yeah, you know what? You want to see our houses, right? But then, like, all the stalking problems, like, all the trespassing problems, like, started happening. So now they're like, yeah, we actually have to freaking put signs there and say, like, yeah, this is, like, where we live. Don't come here. Like, that's basically what they're doing now, right? So... They're not going to enforce any laws or anything. And that's what's happening. But let me actually talk about something too. So like if you go to like my video and like 
read the uh, comments, you will see a lot of people. But I wanted to talk about how the internet works too, because a lot of you guys freaking get confused about this too. So you guys have to know who you are at the same time to deal with things well on the internet. So first, uh, troll. So thank you, Paul Hockey. The rules are not even that strict. A fake. You can even take photos on Hachimi Koji because it's a public road. Yeah, 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 that, that too, that too, that too. The thing about it is like, those rules are not even that strict. Like, I actually made sure about everything. It's freaking so, like, mine, mild. So, if you read the comment, comments, uh, you'll see trolls. You have to know that trolls exist, 100%. Let me just show you guys a great example of, like, a who trolling. Uh, who's a troll like you have to know like when you read the comments you have to know okay and let me show you like one great example so you can learn like as to who is trolling and what's happening so uh there's this person saying i mean some your fault to guys japan is nice but hentai and other stuff is yay what can i say weird so i mean this person is 100 percent trolling it's 100 percent. this person's 100 percent trolling and they are just out there freaking trolling and talking about hentai because dude this guy even said cute place many people girls manga dude this is 100 percent a troll and you have to know like when somebody's a troll so when you read the comments you have to know who is trolling and who is serious and this dude by by far 100 percent is trolling and then next species i don't know but i will say this uh so you have to know about these species too i don't know but i will say this basically like i don't know what's happening but japan does this so yeah this that and let me show you a great example of like what i'm talking about so uh this person basically i think he is either this too he could be this he could be this but he i actually uh checked his uh, channel activity on my channel he left four comments that are kind of like the same so he could be this honestly but who knows so many many tourists not following the rules and being nuisance are japanese uh i'm not gonna say anything because like again as i just said we are not here to blame anything on like with nationalities or what like we don't care about that part like we can learn from like this and we can know what not to do like that's the whole thing about like you know everything right so again 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 the point is here we are not going to blame something on Joni Somali or like this people that people that's not the point right because that's not going to bring us anywhere we have to learn from like what's happening and then uh we can figure out what not to do what to do right but yeah so you asked the guy in the video his sources to simply read japanese media reporting the incidents so then you can kind of figure out he is this I don't know, but I will say this. So that's definitely this, 100%. And thank you, Metzaroid. Hi, Sora. I hope you're having a swag day also my jacket. So you have to know, you have to know, you have to know, you have to know. They are these species too, right? I don't know, but I will say, but, but I will say this. So you have to know there's like a, they are trolls and I don't know, but I will say this. Then you can figure out some things like that happen on the internet and then the third species i take everything seriously so this is what i see a lot uh on the internet actually and uh you can have to know there are people like this on the internet or like even this right i don't know what i will say this and trolls and uh, so great example let me show you so there are there's like this one person who was freaking talking about hentai saying like <laughs> japan is a country of hentai which is the obvious sign of this right so this person's out there talking about hentai because yeah trolling and then uh, i take everything seriously is basically the person who uh takes everything seriously like out there uh here basically so this person is the species one uh troll right he's a troll and then There's this thing called boundaries. If you can't tell the difference between reality and a fiction anymore, that's a you problem. Uh, so it's basically this. I take everything seriously. So then uh, there's a beef that happens between species three versus like species, spe the species one. It's a troll versus this. So like it's a freaking never ending like a fight of like nothingness. So you know what I mean, right?
<laughs> That's basically the internet, freaking in 10 seconds. Like, that, if you ever get curious why, like, Twitter is freaking insane, whatever, whatever, this is basically, like, what's happening. And then Species 4, Spies. Spies. Uh, you can see a lot of, like, spies out there, too. They are something like... So... I don't know if how much I can talk about this, but I kind of talk to some people from like some certain country where they work for this one organization where they leave hate comments towards some certain countries to degrade their countries like that that's that's a thing that's a thing i'm not gonna say like what country they are from or anything but that's a thing that's actually a thing and a dante rage you are a troll but you need to up your game you make bridge troll quality stuff no offense but you need to become a mountain troll thank you so much for the donation i'll think about it too yeah it's it is actually a thing it is actually a thing if you if you didn't know that's a thing uh you i'm not gonna say anything i'm not gonna say anything but it's a thing it's a thing i don't know if i can find any of like the cases here but so this person, this person might be either this or this. It's like one of those two. Him saying like, you know, Sora, he could be just freaking, you know, blaming foreigners, which is not really what was happening. So he could be this, spies, or he could be a spy or this. But, you know, because I just penned him and I said a question mark and he didn't show up. So his point is not really there to actually validate like what I was doing or anything, his point was just there to do this or this. But you get what I mean, right? Because I showed up and he didn't show up anymore. He freaking just disappeared. So, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure if this, he is this or this. So I replied to him saying question mark and he freaking disappeared, right? But anyways, and uh, <laughs> species five. Hmm, I see. And these people are pure. They're like freaking puppies. They just see things and go like, huh, I see. I didn't know. I'll be careful. But maybe I can uh, go to Tokyo anymore. <laughs> ah, what do I do? Oh my gosh, bro. Uh, I think they are cute. And they are usually so innocent. And they are trying to learn things from the internet. So like they see things and they just go like, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's how it is? I see. Wow. I should be careful. Like, if I go to Kyoto, uh, would they, would people hate me because I'm a foreigner too? I see. So, uh, species five. I don't really think there's like anything wrong with like being the uh, species five, honestly. But I just wanted to point out there are, you know. And Paul Hockey, I used to work in digital security and fake trolls employed by rogue governments is a massive issue in 2024. Uh, yeah, it, it's a thing, by the way, everybody. It's a thing, everybody. Like, this is a real thing. It, this is a real thing. This is seriously a real thing. It is. It is. I'm not going to say which country they are usually from or anything, but this is a freaking real thing. You can actually read some articles and whatever, too. But I know one person who works for the organization, 100%. He told me straight up. Like, he was like, oh, by the way, it's, a, it's, this is what I do. And, like, this is the proof. And I'm like, wow. So it's really a thing. And I freaking just, I went like, oof, oof. There's a real spy. You th you thought it was a thing like in the movies only? And then here. Uh Species 6. I'm here to rage. Like I'm here to rage. Japanese people are xenophobic. Yo, like oh my gosh. Like Japanese people decided to ban like this one specific street. Like what was the picture? This one specific street, my gosh, bro, I'm gonna rage. Like, please. Xenophobic, yo, Japanese people are racist. And the thing about it is, like, I'm here to rage, right? Uh, so they are usually there to rage on the internet, right? So they usually kind of do this one thing where they talk about whatever stuff. And uh, so the problem is, uh, let me just find a great example. So... I think a great example is like this person. He he might be either this or this or this, right? There are like so many, uh, like I don't know. Like nobody knows who he really is. But at the same time, when he actually faces the real like person, uh, like 
in the comment section, they usually dip out, right? That's the、uh, pattern like, I've been gonna see. So. <laughs> Wait. Alright, let me just、uh, do the review of like, what basically the internet is like. One, trolls. Two, I don't know, but I'll say this. Three, I take everything seriously. You trolling? Wait, you think troll, being a troll is a good thing? Like, oh my gosh. And thank you,、uh, Dante Rage. I'm here to rage too. It's in my name, but they don't know why. Yes, thank you so much. And, uh, <laughs> Spy. You know what? Japan did this. And, you know what? Like, that. <laughs> and then, number five. Huh, I see. So maybe it's dangerous to do that there. I'm here to rage! And this is basically the whole summary of what the internet is like. And let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. Whatever stuff you see on the internet, you cannot just try to get information from like comments or like random articles. You cannot even try to learn it from me either, by the way. I have to make sure. You shouldn't really learn it from me. You shouldn't even learn it from the comment section. Learning, trying to learn things from the comment section or like a Twitter is kind of like the worst thing you can ever do. What you can really do is to do research yourself, right? You can actually figure out, like,、uh, wait, you are not a teacher. I was a teacher before, yeah. What you can do is, like, when you are curious about things, you can just, like, search it. You can just, like, do some research. Yourself and see how things really are. And you can actually find a lot of like different information and then you can find out what it's like. And if you still don't know what it's like, you can probably just, you know, visit the place and see what it's like. And that's what I'm gonna do. Probably next week, I decided to go to Kyoto and see how bad the problem really is because I don't think it's that bad. Because I even said it too. All the tourists are freaking polite and they behave well. Like, see, look at this. They behave well. Like, They don't freaking stalk the Michaels or anything. <laughs> right? They're chill. So. See? So, the, the tourist being like nuisance, whatever, it's not really. It's not really like that. that but there are some people who freaking <laughs> just stalk <laughs> the Michaels and follow them around and just do this and that. That happens too. That happens too. Like, oh my gosh, bro! Let me take a picture! I know you're like 16, but. Jeez! Yeah, that happens too. But my point is. No, in reality, they, they could be really chill too. So. So you are going to break the video rule. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna go to this specific area. Here. This specific area. No. Or, like, I'm not gonna even go to this area, Hanami Koji, like this area. No, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there because obviously you cannot do that, right? But what I'm gonna do is here. I don't have to go to this specific place to know how things really are. I can just go to Gion, like this whole place, right? And then see how things really are. Because you wanna know what's really happening, right? It's such a tiny area. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not even a huge thing, honestly. No home, thank you. Number five here, the Gion's kit gave me a little anxiety. Uh. Gion's kit. Like this? This part? This part? This part? This part? But this, this actually has happened so many times, I heard, right? This actually happened. But again, I have to make sure. I even, like, mentioned it. In the comment section, too, but th this this part is obviously a freaking comedy skit here. Th this part, this part. Wait, I just have to point at things, right? I have to make sure. Korei! Korei! Are you a weeb or something? What? <laughs> so I have to make sure. That's a, just a comedy skit. Like, I, I thought everybody knew. I thought everybody knew that's the freaking, you know, most obvious comedy skit. But then, but then, then, again, then again, I have to just, let me just talk about this. But then again, uh. Well, I agree with most of the things in this video. I don't understand why you think it's rude for. Okay, it's, I thought it was,、uh, it was the most obvious comedy skit. It was that obvious to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. There's another person. <laughs> The menu thing is dumb. Like, you can't expect a tourist to speak your language. I, I thought it was the most obvious troll. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my fault. 
I, 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 I admit it. It's my fault for not making any more obvious. You know what? From this day on, I'm gonna probably like freaking put a huge like text here saying like it's a joke or something like. <laughs> Like, should I do that? Should I actually do that? Wait, so when I'm like freaking making a weeb joke or something, should I just freaking put like a huge text that says some, something like, it's a joke. Like, this part specifically, like, uh, you know, nothing shows up, right, in the video, wait, like here. I just have to point out things. Like, right? nothing shows up here. Corey! Corey. And then suddenly, like, huge, the biggest text ever, and that says, like, it's a joke. And then, then, then it might be fine. But, like, again, at the same time, there are a lot of, like, you know, people out there. That might be a troll. That might be, I don't know, but I'll say this, but I'll take everything seriously. Spy, hmm, I see. I'm here to rage. I don't know who they are, but that's basically what I wanted to say. So, anyways, point at the big next to text to Yeah, but thank you so much. And uh, thank you, not home. No, I mean, I relate to getting anxiety about doing something stupid or offensive in a foreign country. So, uh, let me talk about this. Let me talk about this. Let me talk about this. Uh, so, all the things. By the way, let me talk about this. I'm 100% sure. And thank you, Paul Hockey. Do it for one video. Don't overuse it. I don't know, man. I kind of want to do... You know what? Can I just, like, do it for the next video? But thank you. Dante Rage. Never apologize. And lean into whatever the distractors say. Thank you so much for the donation. So, let me, let me talk about this, too. All the people out there that are watching my stream right now, you guys will be 100% fine in Japan. Like, 100%. Because... Like, you, you know what you can do and what you cannot do. It's freaking easy, right? It, it is, like, easy to know what you can do and what you cannot do. And you guys are, like, freaking watching videos and whatever on YouTube. So you know, like, if you do anything crazy, then you get freaking called out for whatever. You you know what's going to happen. So, like, if you watch my channel, if you watch Chris Broad, if you do watch whatever, you'll be 100% fine because you know, like, how things are. And if you're especially worried about... Like, you know, uh, making mistakes in Japan and whatever. Uh, I kind of mentioned that in my video too. Don't worry about it. So here. Um, in Japan, people try not to deal with like strangers that much. So they might like look at you, but they're not going to freaking go up to you and go like, Bro, you broke the rule. Let me punch you in the face. That's it. They're not going to do that. So don't worry about it. So you can come to Japan. Uh, just make mistakes, you'll be fine. You you can just say like, oh, this is my first time in Japan. I watch, you know, anime, bro. Like, I just wanted to, you know, feel Japan. They'll be fine. Like, I'll be fine too. Like, I don't really think any people will freaking, like, actually care. But the problem is here. When you are, like, obviously freaking doing something you wouldn't do in your country, but if you're doing it in Japan, saying like, yo, bro, you're a little girl. Let me take a picture, bro. <laughs> then, like, you know, it's like something, like, you cannot do right you know what i mean you can come to japan you can freaking talk about anime like you can just do whatever like nobody cares it just uh this freaking actually became a problem because it's something you shouldn't do in your country as well but you do it in japan and boom you know what i mean though right wait wait does this make any sense does this make sense i have to make sure you'll be fine like come to japan people in japan might have rules and stuff, but it's not that freaking difficult. Like, oh, seriously, it's really not that difficult. Right? And by the way, so, oh, here, let me talk about something too. Did you guys recently find my channel? I, I wanted to like, ask you guys about this too because i wanted to know some specific stuff no so there are some people who found my channel recently too right and uh so if you are really curious like if you ever get beaten up for like making small mistakes and whatever i do streams like once every three days, like two days now, like where I just freaking go to Tokyo, I run around saying Rasengan, and thank you so much for the donation, 0W1. I don't know about the huge it's joke text, but should make the six internet species into a video. Uh, this, I kind of did that so many times, but thank you so much for the donation. So if you ever are curious, like whether you'll get freaking punched in the face for like causing problems in Japan or whatnot, uh, I show the true, like, reality of what Japan is truly like without freaking filtering anything. And I do sort of, like, 
will get back. That's insane stuff that nobody does. And Shred Dog, I go to Japan every year. Just use common sense and do what the locals do. I think there are too many tourists in Kyoto. A tourist. Thank you so much for the donation. So. I basically act like a freaking tourist everywhere and I just run around like talking about anime. Nobody cares. Like this is like one clip I've been freaking showing on my channel. Nobody cares. This is like Shinjuku Kabukicho, basically which is a famous spot for tourists. Look at what I'm doing. Thank you. Yeah, bye 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 bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya. Lasengan. Lasengan. Lasen shuriken. Fireball. Lasengan. Lasengan. So people don't care. Naruto. Right? Best anime. People don't care. Right? Naruto. Rasengan. So I'm just running around saying like Rasengan, Naruto. They don't care. That they don't care. The key is here. The key is here. Uh the whole like this paparazzi thing became a problem because like you are going up to people and you are causing problems, right? Like that that's but that's basically what's happening here. But if you were just like doing whatever by yourself, like you were having a great time talking about anime, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Like seriously, nobody cares. You can just literally like talk about like anime. You can be cringy. You can even say like, <laughs> I want to play Roblox. Hey, like nobody cares because you were just freaking That's doing whatever by yourself. Right. And there are, this is a public road as well. So you can film like without any problems. And if you just run around talking about hentai or like maybe not hentai because it's kind of cringy actually or creepy it could be for some people. Because there might be, like, some young people too, right? But if you just run around talking about anime saying, like, <laughs> Like, nobody cares. So that's my point. What I wanted to say is here. Just use the common sense, right? And uh, if you just do whatever you want to do in Japan, and even if you might be freaking obnoxious and cringy, people don't care. I mean, to be fair, this is insanely Chakra, cringy. 5, I even freaking started talking about Chakra 5000. I don't even know what that even means, but nobody cares, right? Nobody cares. So Japan's like that one country. They are so open-minded about things. They don't even freaking point at me or anything because like they don't care. They're like, oh, you know what? That guy probably watches anime. That's really it. And people are so like open-minded, 100%. So if you want to know more about like what, how people like act towards like foreigners and whatever, this, this too. Um, sounds like a protein drink, yeah, 100%. Where was it? Was it here? So you can snipe. Snipers and like all the. You suck. Right. So this is like a. This is called a Shibuya Crossing. This is another place where people are freaking everywhere. This is like the most famous tourist spot, right? And. Let's go. They don't care. So, like, seriously, you, you shouldn't really be worried about coming to Japan, like, causing problems. I'm doing this and I'm fine, and people don't care. So you coming to Japan, like, doing whatever stuff, like, small stuff, like, wrong. Nobody is gonna, gonna care. Like, you are freaking eating rice with a fork. Nobody cares. I did that. See? Nobody cares. What does your mom think? She thinks I freaking have gone crazy. Like, she actually told me that recently, because my mom watches my channel. So, come to Japan, do whatever stuff, but key is here. I've been saying this. I've been saying this. The key is, uh, come to Japan, and if you're doing whatever because you want to do it, and if you're, like, just doing it by yourself, and you're just having a good time by yourself, nobody cares. If you're, like, you know, making other people involved with your cringe or like anything uncomfortable, just going up to other people and saying like, hey, do you want to have sex with me? Or like going up to uh, Michael's and saying like, yo, bro, bro, swag, yo, <laughs> swag. <laughs> that's where, that's when people just go like, y you know what? You might kind of have to stop now. Y you know what I mean? That's the whole problem. And again, let me just talk about this again one more time uh, to make sure. I uh, Kyoto didn't ban tourists, okay? Kyoto banned... Let me just talk about this again, because I'm going to end the stream here. So there's this one place called Gion. This is Gion, right? And there is this one town, small town called South Gion, right? Gion Machi Minamigawa. And then there's this one place called Hanami Koji, which is a public road in South Gion. And then 
This is there's this one small street called Kosode Koji. That street is banned from tourists because people live there. That's their residential area. So, yeah. You, you really seriously shouldn't be worried about like anything else. That street is banned because this is what it looks like. People live there. And people live there. And Michael's live there too, apparently. And they just didn't want to deal with like all the <laughs> swag, bro. So they just decided to ban it. It's basically the two red lines. But,、uh, there are more streets, I think. But what I'm saying is like, it's something like this. It's just a private property. Like, it's not like this whole freaking place is banned. To be fair, right? It's not really about tourists being banned. It's like everybody, everybody is like banned from that place because, again, like the locals that live there are like, you know what? We kind of want to live here without dealing with <laughs> swag, yo! Swag! So that's the、uh, thing here. Is it banned for those holding residence cards? No, no, no. Again, <laughs> let, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. This is Gion, which is a famous tourist spot, right? And this is South Gion. Which is in Gion. It's a small district. It's a residential area, which is still like a public place, right? And there's this <laughs> Hanami Koji, which is a public street, which is like famous for, like, you know,、uh, tourists and f- famous for like tourists, t- famous for the most. It's famous for like a tourist spot, basically. And then there's this one place called Kosode Koji. This is where people live. This is like a residential area, so it's not like a sightseeing spot. And people live there, right? People live there. But a lot of tourists go there and suddenly get, into, get in like those houses, and then they even freaking use the bathroom and whatever in those houses because the tourists there apparently think that they can just get in those houses. But that's trespassing, right? So that's a freaking different problem, but I'm not gonna really say anything. And then there are so many people like everywhere now, and then like all the like stalking, whatever problems like started happening as well. So, like, the people there are like, you know what, can we just have peace here for a bit? And they and then they are going to put signs in front of like the streets saying, like, this is private property, don't come here, 10,000 yen, you'll be, you'll be fine, 10,000 yen if you do that. So, that's literally it. It's not like you know, you can Japanese, so you can come here. It's not like you, you or tourists, you can come here. It's just people live there, and that's like their freaking house. That's their property. And it's not like this whole freaking place is bad. Now, does that make any sense? It's basically like oh, saying, like, you know, this is my house. I kind of made it open for some tourists because, like, the tourists are like, yo, swag, we want to see your house, yo. But. All the freaking stalking problems like happen, so they're like, please just don't come to like our property, right? It's basically what's happening, right? Dante Rage, shit happens, you gotta take the good with the bad, but seriously, get rid of the bad if you can. Yeah, yeah. I did everything make sense. Was it clear? Can you take videos, pictures outside the sign?、Uh, this place, right? So, are you saying you want to take a picture of like the houses there? If you mean that, again, I don't think you can do that. I mean, I got this picture from the、like, internet. Like, there was like a freaking like, famous internet, like a touring a website for like tourists. And like, they were like, you know what? This is what the place looks like. But I don't think you should, honestly. Right? You know what I mean? So I don't think you should. But if you mean, like, oh, can I take a picture here? Or like, even here? Or even like here? I mean, not here, but like here. I think you can at those places when there are like no signs, you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? If you need to ask, just、uh, buy a postcard or something. Ah,、uh, you can ask. Ah,、uh, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, he said this. He said this. No, 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 no. No, no.、Uh, l- let me actually talk about this. Let me talk about this. Uh, here. Uh, this comment right here. I have to make sure about this. No, no. Uh, this. You can ask. 
Japanese people make exceptions about everything. Like, so let's say I've been actually doing this too, even though like some places freaking have like a signs that say like, don't film here. You, if you ask for it, they might say like, oh, you can. They do that here. Because let me, let me, let me tell you something. So they might have like don't film signs, but they have the signs because some people freaking film things and they cause problems, right? But they are open minded about the people who just want to film and just who just want to chill. They are so open minded about it. So if you ask the people there and say, like, hey, can I take a picture of this place? They usually say yes. The same for Michaels, actually. It's the same for Michaels. Like, I, I've done that before. I, like, on stream so many times. Like, I just go to some places and say, like, oh, I'm, c can I film at this place? And they usually say, like, oh, yeah. Even though they say, like, oh, you cannot film at this place. Like, the uh, most famous example is, like, uh, there's, like, this one freaking uh, Japan heritage place. And there were signs saying, like, oh, you don't film here. You should, please don't p take any pictures and whatever. I went there on stream. And I asked the staff there. And I was like, I... Uh, I heard I can actually film here, but can I? And they checked my stuff a little bit and they're like, oh, you, you can, because they figured out I was not there to cause problems. So if you just show up there and say like, hey, can I film? They usually say yes, because you they will know that um, you are not there to freaking cause problems. Like that's kind of like what they're doing. They are just having the signs there because mostly you can film at temples. You, you can though, actually. You can film at temples, like they don't care. You can film at temples, and you just cannot film, like, statues, I think. But if you ever are curious, like, even even though there are signs, you can ask them. Like, there, there might be signs, right? You don't even have to say it in Japanese. Like, you can just say, like, video, picture, they'll understand. And if, you, they, if they think you're just a tourist that, that are trying to freaking, you know, have a good time in Japan, they'll say, like, yeah, sure. Why not? Like that's, but that's just what happens. Can I film at brothel? Ask for their permission. You know what? You know what? By the way, you can sometimes. They actually let you do that, but they will just charge you like freaking forty dollars more. But it's a thing. So even even when you go to like a brothel and you want to film yourself freaking just having a good time like at a brothel, right? Th that's their option. You just have to ask them, and if you say like, hey, can I film? They say something like, oh, uh, the filming, uh, that will be like another $40, but if you want to still film, like $40, then you can film. So the key here, you can actually film? Ain't no way. No, no, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. I'm not going to freaking show you like the real pr proof. But if you say like, hey, I want to film this, can I? Then they might charge you, but you can film, and you can even freaking put it on the internet. Like You can, you can actually do that. I actually asked a guard if I can go inside a brothel and he rejected me instantly. I feel like it depends on like what's happening there too. But video where it didn't happen. You can search, uh, go to like any websites of like random brothels in Japan, in Tokyo, and search for this word, uh, hamedori, I think. And they usually have the option. If you ever go to brothels, you probably know about it. I've never gone to brothels. I didn't know about it till like freaking two years ago, but it's a thing. It's an option. It's basically freaking trying to get a burger and you're trying to get some like, you know, toppings on it. It's basically what that is. So are using his experiences? Not really. I thought most soap plants and such reject tourists. Uh, so the thing about it is like here, uh, tourists, you, so brothels usually rejects tourists because what's happening is here. A lot of like tourists came to Japan and went to uh, like brothels and they caused the problems. Like they did a lot of like freaking things and they even like hurt the people that work there. And what happens after that is like they freaking leave the country, right? They leave Japan. So like we cannot actually arrest the people or nothing. Because if they leave the country, it's going to be freaking like a lot more difficult to like arrest them. Well, like, you know what I mean? And STD, yeah, I I've heard of that too, yeah. And Paul Hockey, point out the thing you want to film and say video e Yeah, that, that works too, yeah. And they usually say yes. They don't say no. Like, seriously, I've gone to so many places and say like, said like, hey, can I film? They usually say yes. But yeah, so, sound stuff, yeah. So, uh, the reason why they reject like foreigners like there is like, yeah, that's a thing, right? But at the same time, there are places where people are fine with like freaking tourists coming in. 
So you just have to look for like the right places, but I don't really know because I've never really been to like any of the brothels in my entire life. You know what I mean? So like most things in life, it doesn't hurt to ask. So, but I have to make sure. Let me just tell you one more thing again. If you ever are curious about what to do, what not to do, you can probably ask. Like just going up to them and saying like, eh, is the problem, it seems like from my perspective. Most of the brothels that allow gaijin are also staffed by gaijin. Nah, uh, it's true that, but what's wrong with it? What's wrong? Wait, 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 but it's true that, right? But what's wrong with it, right? So, you just want to have sex, right? So, then what's wrong with it? <laughs> yeah, I don't really see any problems. So, <laughs> I believe in setting and respecting personal boundaries. Otherwise, I won't come close and kick them out of my life. Hope that makes sense. Thank you. And Dante Rage, bro, it was a joke. Lean into it. Yeah, so basically, I don't know what I just read, but did I just freaking become uh, uh, this person? Or like, did I just become uh, this person? Or did I become uh, this person? I don't know, like, what person I just became, but... Alright, that's, that's everything what I wanted to talk about in this stream. So actually, you know what? I even just started the stream freaking like one hour ago. But let me just end the stream here because I'm going to make this stream public so everybody will know what to do, what not to do in Japan, which is kind of easy, by the way. What is the next stream? I'm going to do a stream tomorrow. I'm going to go to a mountain. Alright, everybody. So... Uh, actually, before ending the stream, let me just talk about everything in like three minutes, right? To summarize everything. I'm gonna do the review of the whole thing. Uh, in Japan, people, oh, like major, mostly tourists stalk Michaels, who is like a little girl and take pictures without their permission and they were kind of not fine with it and then uh, they decided to uh, ban tourists from this one specific place called <laughs> Kosode Koji it's freaking this small and it's in Gion but it's not the Gion entire place is banned you can go there it this is where people live this is what the place looks like it's where people live and people apparently go to like those houses and get in the houses and freaking use the bathroom and whatever. And then uh, they even stalk the Michaels and try to get in the house to like freaking see what Michael's life is like and whatever. That's apparently what's happening, right? So it's not that they hate tourists because they don't like tourists and like they just want to ban tourists. It's not that. It's just people live here, this one s small street, right? So they just decided to not accept any random people because it's not even a sightseeing spot, it's just a residential area. And and then on the internet, uh, when you try to read the comments and when you try to learn things from the comments, I don't really recommend you to like do it. Is that the only band area? As far as I know, I did a lot of like research about it. It's so far, it's this area. So far, so far, so far. So far, it's this area this area only but i'm going to kyoto next week or like probably this week to make sure like how things really are because who knows right so i'm going to like just go there and see like how things really are exactly will you visit the area this no 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 because they don't want any people right i mean we should actually freaking listen to them i'm not gonna go there but i'm gonna probably just go to kyoto and see how things really are because i don't think it's like that bad kyoto haishin ikimasu yo Laishu Yo, I don't know. I don't know when. I will think about when, right? But I will think about when. But I'm gonna just see everything. And one more thing I wanted to say is like, oh, so this is the proof of like how most of the tourists out there are so polite and so they behave well. They know like all the rules and stuff. Like this is the proof. This is like where, you know, uh, like Michaels and show up. But people are chill. Like you know how tourists are there. Tourists are just freaking walking around, seeing the Weeb Town anime town they're like oh this is what japan's like they're not causing problems they're not like stalking the girls she is around 17. she's a mic right not anything nothing is really happening right nothing's really happening i mean this guy is taking a picture but it's not like anything freaking wild like just actually going up to a girl and saying like, <laughs> so it's kind of whatever from my perspective it's like a just casual thing like eh eh which is still not Fine, but but still, but still, but still, still, like I kind of don't care about that part because he's not being insane, right? 
He's not like, but there are people who just go like, that, 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 that. so that's a freaking different problem. So, what I wanted to say is mostly tourists out there are chill. Dante Rage, I still wanna want that wave kimono they want dude to have. You can just do whatever in Japan, like seriously, you can do whatever stuff in Japan. And this this dude in Japan called Soda Troll, he runs around uh, in Tokyo, he freaking screams Rasengan. And he's never gotten into any trouble. So like, Japan's really open-minded. Don't worry about it. You might think Japan has a lot of rules. Nah, they don't care. They seriously don't care. As long as like you're actually freaking not trying to cause problems like to like other people. Kimono wa ne, I don't know how much it is. It's freaking cheap. So again, don't worry about it. Okay. If you ever are worried about going to Japan, uh, coming to Japan, tourists are mostly chill like this. Even from my ex my experience, it's mostly chill. But there are some people who just freaking stalk Michaels and uh, let's go. That too, right? So then this freaking problem actually just it became a huge thing. Anyways, that's it for the stream. Let me just read the comments for three minutes and I'm gonna get uh get off. And I'm gonna do a stream tomorrow, okay? Maiko Santo Seiza contest to start. Makeru. Yatsura no ashi no kin niku ijo. Let me just read comments. For three minutes. What's for lunch? Gyoza? Dumplings. Can you link the videos you played? I don't think I can. I don't know how to do it. Sure. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna post the links in chat. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do it here. Uh, I'm gonna show you like all the videos I saw here. Okay. And this is like a. So this one is a great example of like how people are really chill usually. All right here. You see three videos here. Those videos. You can just like share button here. All right. Jeffrey Lai, do I need to worry about mosquitoes in late May? Not really, I think. Maybe not, but thank you so much. Pin that. Sure. What do you think about dual pricing? I've never seen that though. I heard it's a thing, but I've never seen it, so I don't know. えっと、ま、そんな感じなのかなちょっと違う気がするけど。ま、簡単に言うと、極力に侵入してくる人がいて、うざかったらしいです。すげえ簡単に言うと。すげえ簡単に言うと。あ、ノコギリマウンテン。
But yeah, it's not really like, oh, you cannot come here because you're a foreigner. It's more that th- there's this one street where people live and people just don't want any people to freaking show up and go like, yo, swag, yo. So it's not about, yes, like, you know, who you are, like where you're from. So you got it now, right? But yeah. I've noticed huge attitude changes from Japanese service people when I spoke Japanese, even if bad Japanese. Ah, let me actually talk about it. So, some people think speaking j- bad Japanese is like, for whatever reason, it's rude. No, no, it's not rude. Speaking bad Japanese is cute. It's cute. It's freaking cute. Speaking bad Japanese is cute. Let me explain what that means. Do you think it's cute when a Japanese person speaks English like this? I want to learn English. It's cute, right? It's the same thing for Japanese people. Yeah, it's, it's the same for like Japanese people when you guys freaking go like, It's cute. It is cute. So don't worry about it. Speak bad Japanese. People will think it's freaking cute. And then, then I did this one skit where I said like, Are you a weeb? You cringe. Like where I spoke bad Japanese saying like, Koray! And I said like, Your Japanese is bad. Are you, are you a weeb? That doesn't happen. I thought it was like the most obvious freaking comedy sketch but yeah that doesn't happen but anyways that's a double standard others speaking bad english isn't cute what i wanted to say is here uh if you speak bad japanese in japan it's cute nobody cares like nobody nobody's gonna freaking go up to you and say like your japanese sucks uh foreigners say that to each other though like foreigners freaking do like this small competition about like what whose japanese sucks and whose japanese is the best i don't think people in japan care everybody sounds cute when they speak japanese uh you shouldn't worry about about anything like don't worry don't worry like, if you were on youtube don't worry about anything like you'll be fine Because you just have to, like, you just, just you just don't stalk people. Like, that's basically what the freaking thing is. Are you camping at the mountain? Nah, 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 dude. Nah. I don't why, why me? I don't know. That's just I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Ask other people. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you 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 said exactly what I wanted to say. How much is extra fee? I don't know, bro. Like seriously. Like what? I don't know. Why don't you freaking google it? I don't know, bro. Like what? Ask, ask, I right, ask other people on my channel. They knew about this like more than I do. Like, they, they know about this. That's relevant. I mean, it might be, but like, ask other people. I don't know about it. Do I need to know Japanese to go to Japan? No, no, no. Come to Japan without knowing any Japanese. You'll be 100% fine. Seriously. Wait, wait, wait. I, I have to read this comment. I'm currently learning Japanese. Don't fly me, but I watch VTubers. I mean, that's fine. I don't think watching VTubers like is wrong. There's nothing wrong with it because it's not illegal. It's not a crime. It's just what you do, right? And they speak normal Japanese and it's the closest thing to anime. And anime uses exaggerated Japanese. Uh, yeah, true, true that, true that, true that. So again, I have to make sure watching anime to learn Japanese, watching VTubers, like they're all fine. Some people might say it's cringy and whatever, but being cringy is not a crime. So you can just do whatever. It's not disrespectful. You are still trying to learn Japanese. Like what you, that's what you're freaking like, you know, uh, goal is right. There's like nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with like watching anything if it's not a crime. If you're watching like pirated anime, then that's when you have to kind of like look back at yourself and go like, hey, uh, is this good? But other than that, you can watch YouTubers, VTubers, you can watch hentai, you can watch porn, like nobody cares, right? You can do that. But what you have to do is here. So if you were ever worried about whether you're being like Insane wanna you do this right you look at yourself and ask yourself like hey is this a crime am i causing any problems doing this if the answer is no do it nobody's gonna care some people freaking might call you cringe but being cringy is not a bad thing it's just who you are i'm cringy i don't care 
again, I just run around in Tokyo saying like, Nobody cares. And I'm cringe. Nobody cares. I'm just freaking doing my thing. So just do it and you'll be fine 100%. Watching porn would probably limit your vocab though. I mean, if you watch porn and if you try to l learn Japanese from porn, then everything is wrong with you because it's not gonna work, but you can still do it. That's what I mean. Alright, that's the end of the stream. Let me let me summarize it again. Watching VTubers is 100% fine. It's not a crime. Some people might say you're cringy, but like, you shouldn't care. You shouldn't care, right? And you can watch anime to learn Japanese. Like, that's not a crime. Some people might say it's cringe, but, like, it's not a crime. You can run around in Tokyo saying Rasengan. It, it's not a crime. It's just cringy. But if you go up to, like, Michaels and if you stalk little girls, like, while taking pictures of them and saying, like, hoo, 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 and if you just get into, like, you know, some random people's houses and, like, use the bathroom and say, like, swag, yo, and leave trash, that's a crime, right? So... Let me tell you, it's not about like t tourists freaking being rude. It's more like tourists just, uh, you know, be like being criminals. So like, if you ever come to Japan and if you are seriously uh, worried about whether you'll be like a nuisance person or whatever, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, cause you know what a crime is. You you know what a crime is, right? It's no, it's not really about tourists being like freaking disrespectful. It's more about. The actual, like, freaking obvious, like, crimes and, like, invasion of, like, privacy and all that, right? You, you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean, right? So, so don't worry about it. So, bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day. I'll stream again tomorrow at 12 p.m. in Japan time. I'm gonna go to the mountain. It's gonna be a freaking long stream, too. Thank you, Sc Scoper. How you become Japanese? I thought you were American. I, I watched a lot of Jap Japanese, like, you know, hentai and, like, anime, and I went to Japan, and, yeah, I learned Japanese from anime thank you asta you'll watch this guy regularly this chat is cringe as heck kimo thank you so much for the donation and asta is a great example too by the way like if you guys are ever curious about coming to japan as a weeb or something uh, all star the joy everybody kind of calls her like asta so she's like one of the people who's been watching my channel for a while while trying to be an anime character she freaking did that in real life too she freaking came to japan in an anime costume and stuff too in japan like nobody cared and i think she had a great time in japan too right right is what I have to say. So she's basically an American girl, like freaking. She was she was acting American in Japan too. Nobody cared because like she didn't commit any crimes. Like you don't have to worry about all the rules. It's it's the most freaking basic stuff. See, so she did. So it's not. So as long as you know like what crimes are and what not, what what are not crimes, it's easy. It's easy. But yeah, everybody, bye bye. This this stream is gonna be public, so you can learn things. Bye bye.